Good morning. This is Laura from Sweet Incense. We make candles and soaps, mostly for fun. Today we are doing a sunny summer one called, uh, I don't know, maybe Sunburst. It's, I'm using a fragrance from Candle Science called uh, Mandarin and Citron. It's very orangey. We like it. So, let's get started by adding our lye water, which has silk and sodium lactate in it. So let's just add in our fragrance oil first. Smells really good. Actually, I'm not soaked with this. I've made candles with it and it's really nice. But I have no idea what this will do in a soap. I don't even know now that I think about it. I hope there's no vanilla in here because, vanillin, because you know what? I didn't check the label. I know it's, you can use it for soap, but I didn't check. But it's Mm, very nice and orangey, and I really don't smell vanilla, but that doesn't mean it's not in there. All right, so we have got here, this is kind of a pink color. It's called Fairy Tale Pink. This one's from Crafter's Choice. I'm just going to put a small amount in there and stir it because I don't want it to be very bright. We'll do that. The second color, this is Taxi Cab from Mad Micah's. We'll do the same here. And then the third color, where's my orange? This is Racing Stripe Orange from Brambleberry. Get all of these off my, out of my way. There's my orange spatula. Set these aside for a second, and we will add some white to the rest of this. Just titanium dioxide. Mine is mixed with oil. You can get it both ways. Oil, and some places have it where you can mix it with water, so it's just your choice. I like the oil, because sometimes I get um, uh, glycerin rivers. If I add too much water to my recipe. So we just do the oil. What we're going to do is we're going to take our pink and just pour a little bit of that in. So if we can get it to pour because it's thickening up as we speak. Okay, we're just gonna pour a little bit in. Come on, get down there. I'm just gonna push all this down, like so, just to get it in the bottom. Cause like I said, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as it's in there.
okay, we've got this mostly cleaned up. So, let's see. We just took the leftover soap, and I'm just gonna, on the top, make kind of little rosettes that just flower decorations. Alright, the camera shut off. I don't know when, but this is the finished product. Just kind of giving you a shot there. Alright, we'll cut this in about 24 hours. Talk to you later. Okay, we're back to cut this. This is what it looks like on the top. I don't know ever which way to hold this. This is the sides. I've got one little air bubble in there. So let's see how we can cut this puppy. Okay. Let me see. Over, over. All right. Let's see how this turns out. Kind of soft a little. But there is, can you, I don't know which way to hold it. So that's a pretty good ombre, and then we've got the little flower, and the dried orange, and we have some eco glitter on there. Because it's hard to not do soaps and put glitter on. Everybody knows that. So let's cut another one, and then I won't make you watch all of this. All right, if I can just get it in the correct spot. That one drug a flower through a pet petal. Let's see, drug it through. Anyways, so that's what our citrus burst, summer citrus, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, soap looks like. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.